Uber co-founder and chief executive officer Travis Kalanick as he speaks at an event in New Delhi. AFP photo Getty Images, the plot to oust Uber chief executive Travis Kalanick began almost the moment he announced last week that he was taking a temporary break from the celebrated technology company amid a series of scandals. The audacious effort to end Kalanick's run atop one of the Silicon Valley's most successful companies was led one of the company's own board members, Bill Gurley, a major investor, according to two people familiar with the board's thinking. Even as Uber's board of directors publicly appeared to support him last week, Gurley, a legendary venture capitalist and early Kalanick backer, rounded up other Uber investors who also believed that Kalanick simply could not return to the ride-hailing company he co-founded and grew from small startup to a company worth an estimated $69 billion, according to the people who spoke on condition of anonymity due to the confidential nature of the discussions. Gurley didn't respond to a request for comment. Uber had been rocked by an unrelenting parade of controversies, including allegations of widespread sexual harassment and a series of executive departures that culminated in the board last Tuesday adopting 47 reforms aimed at overhauling Uber's workplace. That's when Kalanick, 40, said he would be taking an indefinite leave, in part, to allow him to grieve for his mother, who had died just weeks earlier. But it 